Hello there and welcome back to some Norse India, Viking India. We have so far taken a large chunk of their coast and I want more. Luckily, there's a CB for that. This man right here, if we declare war on him for the Duchy of... what's it called? Uh, Nadu. Then uh, we will take over all of this here, as well as these islands. I think that fits very much in with uh, with our nation here. The Vikings, the Norse, they, they like their coastal settlements. And if we take the entire Indian coast, that's really... Uh, fitting especially if we can land it with our own sort of people here now hopefully i get this land directly i'm not sure though because it isn't a religious cb it's just a uh, conquest so i think these guys are going to be my uh, direct vassals but uh, we'll hopefully be able to convert them i want to be able to get settlers as well but whatever i'm saving up here to get resilient bloodline i think that would be the best way to do this here wait what set to congenital trade become more common in the dynasty oh wow oh wow that's that's great we'll uh, have a look at that later on also, I might go for a wife, but only a very old wife. I already have three sons, so I don't want to have a have a young wife giving me more now, do I? I want a wife we're not going to be able to breed with. Somebody over 50 would be ideal. 45? Uh, maybe. 45. Anybody a bit older, perhaps? No. I don't want to risk 45. 45, 45 still can. So we might just uh, go about... Whoa, what is that headdress? A shaman. Of course there's a shaman available. Exactly what we need. I think they might be uh, going for people who are fertile. Yeah, let's go with uh, infertile. Ah, perfect. We have unlocked older women. Let's see uh, which of these. Any Norse there? Uh, yeah, you're a Norse uh, lady there, 62. Vassal in the Kingdom of Sweden, Houseland. Well, you got 19 stewardship. Come on over. Let's have you join us. 200 prestige is not that uh, bad to uh, to lose that. Also, I should be raising my army, shouldn't I? Yes, let's go ahead and raise them over here. Now, we're going to have limits of, uh, well, less than what we got. It's going to raise all our army and probably uh, split them in two stacks over this way. Have I already married? No, I have not. Here she is. Excellent. So, we're going to send her to the camps. Wait, what? My wife? Yes, but why is she not here? Oh, is she not in my court? Oh, you, you sure? Court of War? Oh, no, she's landed. So I done goofed. I done goofed. I did get an ally out of it, but <laughs> I don't actually get her at court. If I were to divorce her, I would simply just lose stuff. Also, I can buy claims. I should really have a look at that for potential kingdoms. I'm not sure if it would work for there. So if I were to buy a claim on your kingdom, I would need... Ah, I can't buy a kingdom if I'm already a king or an emperor, but there are duchies around. Say, for example, your duchy over here. Would I just be able to... Are you even a duchy? Raja, it looks like he's... Is he a duchy? Oh, his capital's over here, yes. So I probably could, but let's not worry about that just yet. Let's worry about what we've got going on down this way. Two months left for the rest of the army. Now, you there have 5,000, so I don't want to charge in with just 3-odd thousand straight away. I do want to wait until I have all of my troops here. I can ransom this milady. Good. I could have married her too, but... Let's just ransom her back. Money is money. I do lose a lot of money in these wars. I call people to, uh, to war. I call people... Uh, yeah, uh, not going to be doing it. Nine and a half thousand. Where did these guys come from? I did not have that many troops before. Okay, let's split you guys in half. And let's get to siege over here. We've got... The Dama over there, and then we'll march you down right behind them. And when we do want to, we can just sail you around to the next Dama. I'll lose 100 people if I march through, or we can sail around and lose a bit more money. I can gain money here. It'll keep us afloat a little bit longer. So, girl, I require your assistance. A life experience and a weak hook on me. No, I'd rather take the money just now. The money is more beneficial. Also, we can modify quite a few contracts, but let's not worry about that. We don't need people to be mad at us, trying to get independence and all that. Lark. No, oh, Arpad has a claim on RuneScape, today. not That's uh, not who I would expect to do such a thing. Well, this isn't taking too long. We may just do them one at a time and hope that these guys don't try to... Oh, he's already sailed off over to here, but that's fine. We'll let him sail over to there. They do have friends, but we have more people in total, so I'm just going to concentrate on sieging out what we want. Although, if they are all the way over there, we could sail around and start the siege down on this Dama. Because there are three provinces here, and then have these guys go the other way. 
staring at stars from all my evenings watching stars I've seen with my own eyes what I have only heard of before this one uh, again so we're, we're just not gonna read that we, we've read this thousands of times it's not too uh, important to read again let's get rid of that as well excellent so we are beginning to siege down here we have one a siege here so let's just keep on going down this coast and get it all we might just go over to this man invalidated what uh, okay also, what war is this? I'm defending against you over here. I don't know who you are, but I'm at war with you. Uh, who else is in this war? Just ah, you, you. So you should be able to handle it, whoever you are. I just I don't understand how, but yeah, they, they'll be able to go over there and siege it out. It won't be any trouble for us at all. Our main trouble is going to be just sieging out these individuals over here and getting uh, getting this coastline. After we take this coastline, I do want to concentrate uh, up here perhaps as well. This guy, uh, she's quite powerful, but we'll be able to outstrengthen them. Just tidy up this border here, and then of course going up this coast is the other thing I would be interested in. Lifestyle perk, whole of body. That's going to be very, very good for our health. Hopefully we can uh, keep our health nice and strong so we can survive into much old age. This guy has one. We do want to siege the uh, Dama over here, Mahal, of the Maldives. Where's the North Sentinel Island? Which one of these guys is it? We can go and uh, teach those guys about bows and helicopters and stuff. Uh, right, I think it is just right there because that is where the title is. It's going to take how many people to siege that out? 500 odd. Okay, so let's just send over a few people there. Spit off a new army. Let's send over 780 levies to go and deal with this area. They should be able to take that siege relatively easily. As for you guys, we're going to leave you relatively close. I don't want to have my army split up too much. But these 820 men, we'll let them go off and do what it is they need to do over that way. Oh wow, they actually attacked into us. A grand victory. We left only three survivors. Perfect. I got somebody to ransom out of it. Unless that was from one of these sieges, which is also very, very likely. These guys still over here? They are not. Who knows where these chaps are? But I have allies over here now. Why? D You're not in this war. I need you in this war, fighting these chaps. But uh, the AI does not understand. What do you mean, not enough soldiers? Now there's 1,200 here, but I checked. There's five. Oh, wait. I was looking at levies, not the garrison, my bad. So we do want to send over another load. Or we could do this neat little trick where we call in this guy into this war. Can I do that? Is he my ally? No. I, I don't know who he is. I don't know why he's in this war, but yes. Let's uh, split off another... No, not my life, but I need my best troops. Let's just split off these 1,500 men, send them over there, and they can begin that siege. We'll keep all this force together here, though, and we will want to go after his capital next, I believe. Let's see if he's even there. He is located in the Dakaria Dasa. I'm not sure where that is. But it can't be that far away. Honmore, let's get you a uh, guy in charge. Rajput. If only we could change your culture. One day. One day. Okay, we're up to 36% here. Not sure what we could do to get any more, because they aren't trying to fight in the region. So... Oh, there are North settlers here. Perfect. Maybe we do just want to go straight after his capital. That would be worth a fair bit of war score. Send you guys there. Send you guys here. We'll uh, siege out both. It's going to cost me a bit of money again, which I'm never a fan of, but it's not too bad. Family members can get married. Who's that then? My daughter, Gulhis. I don't really want alliances anymore. No, so let's just go with... Uh, Prestige gain, perhaps? Segurda of somewhere. She'll get a fair bit of prestige. Okay, or we can go for traits within the family. But for her, she's uh, she's going off that way. As for you, Pora, my uh, other daughter, 39 now. Great. Um, let's just go with prestige gain again. But somebody Norse, this man here, this, this old boy, can take it. And then we got our son Magnus, who is 25 and unmarried. Let's try and find him somebody with a congenital trait, something inheritable. But not her. She, she's not the one we want. 
I also want to try and keep it quite Norse intelligent, but what does she have? What's wrong with her face? A leper. Well, let's not marry him to a leper. She's a beauty, but... Uh. Oh, I'm looking at infertile. Let's look at fertile. We probably screwed off the uh, two marriages for my other daughters there by looking for the infertile men. 32. Bit old. Bit old. Let's talk by age here. Zero year old's a bit young. Let's get up to uh, at least teenagers here and then see what we can find. Somebody Norse would be ideal. Twelve and intelligent. Okay, well, you all do just the trick. Thank you very much. So I sent my two daughters off to marry infertile men. That's uh, that's not the best. It's not the best for their uh, prospects. You do have an alliance with this man now, though, but it's it's not too important. Money keeps going down. Magnus can marry. Oh, was it a betrothal? I think it was. So we'll just leave him where he is until it's uh, no longer an issue. 18 months left on this siege. Not great. Ah, we took this man prisoner. Good. You worth a bit of a ransom? 50 gold? Don't mind if I do. I'm going to send these guys into the uh, heartland a bit here. These uh, Fortress level 13, my goodness. Six years. I, I don't think I'm going to be sieging out that. You level three. Okay, we're gonna send you over there instead. You can lose a couple hundred people. Let's just. Uh, what about up there? Eight. All right, we'll try an eight. But this is this is far too powerful. Like you're a six. These guys can take four years. My goodness, no, no. Right, sail around. Sail around over to these guys. This man over here won yet? No, that there is a level eight fortress. My goodness. Communal government. A new fascination can be selected. Let's have a look. Communal government, you say? Where? Where's that? So what do we do here? Counties now reach maximum uh, penalty at 35. Okay. Chronicle writing. Uh, Dijo Duchy cast a spell. I... Prestige cost. Royal prerogative. Wouldn't mind some of that. Let's go for mangonels, because we can't actually build siege equipment right now. And you look at these sieges over here. We're definitely going to be needing it. Later on in life, it it's it's crazy how long these sieges want to take. Even this one is taking seven months. Please be one hundred percent. Please, I beg of you. I do not want to be in on this time phase. The age of the world. I've been studying the ancient religious texts and the writings of scholars, and they all seem to agree that the world will end in six thousand years after its creation. By my calculations, we are less than a century away. Oh, uh, this one again. What do we go for? Let's go with learning experience. And pick up a new perk. We're going to have to go down Faithful now, though. It should be fine. Actually, we are we taking the focus here that gives us the health boost? Yes, we are. We have the medicine focus. Good. I do wish to survive as long as I can. 100. Oh, that's 95. And that is still not moving. Uh, fuel takes to increase. Yeah, okay. Actually, we do now have 100%. Let's go in and force the demands without a single battle. So be it. A lot of land has been gained here, and it is owned by me personally. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to one of my sons here. We've got Magnus. Magnus could use some stuff. Okay, Magnus. We're going to grant you a load of this stuff. You can be the guy down in the, uh, the stuff. In fact, do we have a duchy created? Let's get off the screen, please. Do we have a duchy created here? Trying to click on the actual land, buddy. Um, Duchy of Nadu. We uh, need 250 gold to usurp it, but I can't hold on to this land for too long. So let us... Well, first, let's get all of these guys and send them off to uh, deal with whoever at war with over here. It's, it's this chap. We'll put him out of his, his misery. But yes, I do want individuals to take this land, because individuals would... Uh, would convert it fast to six, three. Okay, so the one down at the bottom is a six. Whereas Muhal here is a seven. So you're actually the best promise. We're going to give my son this one and that one. That's what we're going to do. We're going to grant him this and that. He'll be very strong from it. And we're going to find two random individuals to take over everywhere else. Top realm. Let's reset the defaults here. We want uh, dynasty. Let's go with heistening. There might be someone around here. Ruler, not ruler. Adults. Uh, let's go with all. But we do want men with uh, our religion and our 
culture. Let's see if there is anyone around here who is uh, not in line to inherit anything. You don't appear so. You have a brother and you are not your heir's brother. In fact, there's two of you here with lines. So we're going to grant you this one. Wait, no, I'm not. You're the guy with the sun. We're going to grant... We're going to grant you... Good sir. Where do we end up? How do we end up in Greece? How do we... Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to grant you, good sir, this one here. I'm going to grant your other brother with all that land. This one here. Congratulations. Two more heistenings have been landed. Great, great chaps. Great. Well, uh, that's terrific. Very terrific. I'm, I'm very glad that that worked okay. We do also have some prisoners who can be ransomed. I will go through with it, but I'm very unhappy that I have to move my army all the way over there, paying them monthly until I arrive. And probably afterwards we're going to have to go and uh, raid some places to get out of debt again, because we do want to keep moving along. We have the entire western coast, but that's not good enough. Actually, we have began a siege here. We'll uh, storm it as soon as we can, but I don't... If we even... Because we don't have the uh, stuff... I'm not spending money. It's, it's not worth it for extra learning skill. I just need this here taken. And then we will have to go and get our money back because these lands are very expensive. Come on, guys. Let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have it. Good. That's only 21%. Well, let's go for white piece then. Let's expand all of our army. And now we want to try and get out of... out of... Uh, debt. I'm not sure where we'd want to go along here. I think you are the next guy with your 4,000 levy. There's going to be a duchy here, surely, that we can hopefully take the entire horn. And then you've got this chap here. You can take up there and then further up the coast. I want to take the coast. I think that is the uh, the best thing to do. We could also try and maybe take over someone like Pagan, but we, we don't currently have the... Uh, we can only do the uh, Invade Kingdom once per character. And I doubt my son and heir is going to have all of that prestige when it does come to being him. Prince Henry. Oh, he actually uh, rules all of these provinces over here, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he does. So how does succession go at the moment? Well, it says that Ragnar gets this, Henry gets all of that, and Magnus gets... Why does Magnus get some of my uh, homeland there? So you got these two down here. We should try and make you a duchy. I just don't have the money. There's you over here. You somehow only get Crete, whereas he gets three provinces, and then you... Oh, well, we won't lose the capital. We'll just lose some other land. It's uh, it's a shame. But hopefully if we can leave, hold on to the capital, we'll be good there. Well, what is all this? Ransoms? I, uh, I welcome the opportunity to ransom these people. Ten gold and fifty gold. Sure. Sure. A curse undone. Not a day too soon. Get rid of that man. Get him off this this earth. He is no longer welcome. Okay, what we're going to do then is we are going to raid the papacy as usual because that is where the money is. We also have a 10k levy. My goodness, it is really going up fast. Uh, but that means we'll be able to raid very fast. It's going to take us a couple of months, but we'll uh, shoot on over, get a load of money, and then be out of debt. I want all the guys I can get. I understand it costs more, but it also raids faster. So let's go straight over to uh, this place. And then that place, we're just going to go all the way through the Pope's land. Give us your money, buddy. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to lose some people to death here, but that's perfectly fine. I really don't mind. 12... Yeah, let's just concentrate on the papal land here. Papal land, that's the word, not papal. Steal all his money, get ourselves out of debt, and then go back to war in India. I think that is a perfect plan, a very beautiful plan. I actually went around that guy there, but that's fine. We're just losing 100 guys every time. They will uh, soon come back. We have plenty of them. This is a very fast way for money. I'm very, very glad at that. Let's take a few months through the papal land and come out a very rich man at the end. But unlock a new lifestyle perk. Well, don't mind if I do um, convert faith in county speed. That will be very, very nice. Also, we do need a new spy mask. We'll assign this man. Excellent. We won't be long here and then we'll uh, be back to India. I don't want to be uh, going over to Europe all the time because this is now the Indian campaign. 
but we do still have to get some money at times. Oh, it's 40 odd there. Okay, let's get 76 from this guy. We won't worry about the 8, that's just a waste of our time, but we'll get the 24 and the 46. And that should be uh, enough, because I do also want to make the duchy for my other son. So I do want a bit extra cash. 700, oh, we actually maxed out. Okay, let's go back. Let's get on back and uh, see what we can do with this money. I'm a bit busy for that at the moment. Rest in peace. Unforeseen tragedy. Uh, somebody's died. Who was it? Dave. Dave has died. Still die counting siege. Why is she relevant? My son is alive. Oh, she was a spouse of him. I'm sure. Sure she was. Let's uh, disband the army now and let's go ahead and create one of these duchies that we so desired. This one over here is the one I, I wish for. We want the... Uh, wait. That's not what I'm after. Who? Wait. Who? Wait. What? You. Oh, I was clicking on the wrong guy. So you have two? No. No. I, I'm not sure why I uh, got confused there. Anyway, you're Darchy. Let's create it. Very good. Then let's give it to you, Prince Magnus, my boy. Could also find your spouse. Let's go there. You can have the... Uh, which one was it? It's the Yaldum of Chandu. Is it... It is uh, Charinadu, right? Yeah, that's all highlighted. We'll give him that. Including the vassals underneath. That'll make us a little bit weaker, but it's it's fine by me. So if we go over to Inheritance now, does it change succession at all? No. No. One total loss on succession. That is the Kingdom of Cretheim. So now my son does inherit everything. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Thank you, Magnus Haraldson. You are a great, great son. Now these Yaldums over here, but we don't need a duchy. What was this? Yaldum of... No, he is a... Uh, He's a duke over himself. I probably did that, didn't I? Yeah, it's probably the kingdom here, but I don't know if I want to build the kingdom of Gujarat. It would give him uh, Dijia over all of this region, and I do want all of Gujarat. You are actually next in my sights there. Well, you're 7,000. Ah. 7,000 is a bit much. Alduin only has 1,000. You there, you have 4,000. We might stick down to the south. And we could conquer his entire the entire horn of India there. So we are going to go ahead and declare that. This man has a friend. His friend is up there, not very strong. So I might just declare war on both. So I don't have to re-raise my army. Oh, there's only one county too. Excellent. So when you come back, we are going to invade the horn of India. Taking over all this land. And hopefully by the time we're done, have the truce break with this guy. Take over. This is actually in two duchies though. Oh, it's actually in three. Never mind. But I do want all of uh, Ceylon here. I didn't know it was a land bridge to Ceylon. I thought it was a straight-up island. Interesting. Or sh is it Sri Lanka now? Yes, I'm showing my, <laughs> I'm showing my imperial Britishness, calling uh, Sri Lanka Ceylon. Uh, my bad there. Uh, my bad. But too bad. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time where we will continue our invasion of India. Hope you are enjoying the campaign. If you are, remember to subscribe to keep up to date on all future videos. Thank you again. I hope you are enjoying the content. Goodbye.